Hello, today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your internet connection using three command line tools called ipconfig, ping and tracert. To start, I have to say that every computer connected to a network receives what is called a unique IP address. That IP address is just, as I said, a unique identifier for your computer that will allow it to send and receive packages. So basically it's like having an address for a home and to be able to send and receive packages by mail. It does the exactly same function. Now you may see co our computer is connected to the internet but we don't know what is our address. So to do that we're going to use the ipconfig command. To do that just press start, all programs, accessories and command prompt. From here we can type ipconfig and we will be presented with a list of addresses and information by network adapters. Don't be overwhelmed by, the, by this. The only one that you will care about is the one that connects you to the internet and in our case is a wireless LAN adapter because we're using wireless to connect to the internet. You can see that our IP address is shown here 192.168.1 64. That's the IP address of this machine, the machine I'm using right now. And the IP address of the default gateway, 192.168.1.254, that's the address of the router or the machine that is giving you connection to the internet. And that is a very important address to have because everything that comes and goes from the internet has to go first through that router. Also, many times the router which is normally in a home network, the one that assigned these IP addresses, makes mistakes. It sometimes may even give a duplicate IP address, creating conflicts and uh, making your internet connection to drop. So to troubleshoot this, the first thing that you can do is just release that IP address or reset it. And you can do this by just typing ipconfig slash release. By doing this and just telling the router, hey, get back your IP address, I don't want it anymore, and you are free to give it to whoever you want. But at the same time, I'm disconnecting myself from the internet. So if I want to get reconnected or reclaim another IP address, all I have to do is type ipconfig slash renew. And you see, if you notice here, down here we, we don't have connection. We have the exclamation point, no internet access. But if I press enter, the router is going to assign us an IP address again, and we are going to re regain connection. Sometimes by just doing that, you can reestablish IP connectivity and have the internet back. So after you know your IP address and you know the router address, you may want to check if, if you have connectivity from your computer to the router or from your computer to a computer on the internet or a computer of your friend that you are playing on an online game or to Microsoft to Google because there may be cases where you have connection to one computer and not to another so here's where the ping command comes to play so I'm just gonna clear the screen and let's test it by typing ping Microsoft now let's use Google, google.com. So what Ping is doing is sending a package from your computer to the destination, in this, in this case is Google. You can see that it's telling you that also is revealing Google's IP, IP address. And uh, it's telling you that basically everything went well. All the four packages that are sent by Ping were received and it's telling you the time that it was received, it, it, it took 29 milliseconds in the first case and this TTL means time to leave and it's basically just set there so a package wouldn't be going indefinitely it, it's basically saying that in, in that time that pack package could be discarded now if you didn't have connection, or you didn't have connectivity I'm going to show you, if I do an IP config slash release right I don't have an internet access and I'm gonna try to ping again Google you will see that the ping will fail 
and it's, it's gonna tell you that you don't you, you cannot even be done so that's one of the ways to use ping just to check if you are connectivity to a computer so let's go ahead and renew our IP address if you config renew to regain internet access and now the third command that you're gonna use is called tracert so at the beginning you use ipconfig you know your IP address you know the router IP address you use ping and you tested connectivity from your computer to other computers but what can you do to get more information as you know when you send a, a package from your computer to other computers that package travels to different points it's like going from Miami to New York you have to, uh, by car you have to make many stops it's the same thing with a package on the internet it, it makes many stops before it reaches its destination those stops are called hops in network uh, terminology now any of those hops or uh, pit stops may have a problem or maybe the cause of the problem so to check this out we can do let's clear the screen a tracer tracer google.com so now I'm gonna check what was the route that my package is gonna take now in real time from my computer to Google and you see that it's showing me one two three those are the different hops that the package is taking the first one obviously is the router the second is the my internet provider and the third and fourth are the different computers or routers that are in between me and Google so uh, as you can see some are uh, the package gets faster in one of the hops but in others it, it delays a lot for example on the fourth here the, there was a request timeout so the package took longer than expected and it was dropped so slowly the package is getting all the way to Google but the cool thing about this is that it's displaying you all the hops that is the, the package is going through, all the stops. And uh, if the package doesn't reach the destination, you will know exactly where it stopped and where it stopped. And from there, you can take measures to troubleshoot it. So you see it's slowly reaching to the destination. It's now going to the 13 hope. And it's going to all those different addresses. Each of these addresses may be a router or a computer, and you see it finally reached the Google address. You see at the beginning it says tracing route to Google, and it tells you the IP address of Google, and at the end we reach that address. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, very brief presentation of how to troubleshoot your internet connection using uh, the IP config, ping, and tracer commands. Thank you.